Hello everyone, how are you? I am Akrash, your teacher here and I will teach you different questions and their answers. So I welcome you on ClassTheta.com. So our today's question is Is momentum conserved in all of the experiments? Please give a complete description with the example as needed supporting your response. Second, can, is kinetic energy conserved in all of the experiments? Please give a complete description with example as needed supporting your response. Does friction reflect this experiment? If so, how? If not, why not? If the track were not perfectly level, how would you result change? If at all, how might this experiment be improved to illustrate better the concepts of conservation, momentum and kinetic energy and answer the question in let's address each question systematically first. Is momentum conserved in all of the experiments? Description momentum is conserved in a closed system where no external forces act upon it. This principle states that the total momentum before a collision or interaction equals the total momentum of the collision. Momentum conservation is, is applicable in various scenarios unless external forces such as friction or external impacts act on the system. Example elastic collision, two billiard balls collide on a frictionless stable. If we neglect air resistance and other f external forces, momentum is conserved. The total momentum of both balls before collision equal to the total moment after collision. In elastic collision, two cars collide and stick together even through kinetic energy is not conserved. In this case, momentum is still conserved if we consider no external forces like friction acting on the cars during collision. Supporting response in real world experiment, external forces like friction, air resistance, a non-conservative force may not conserve momentum. For instance, if a bar rolls on a surface, will friction, the frictional force action on the ball will cause a change in momentum. Thus, to ensure momentum conservation, one must carefully isolate the system from the external forces of account for them in calculation. Second is kinetic energy conserved in all of experiments. Description kinetic energy is conserved in only in perfect elastic collision where no kinetic energy is conserved into a other forms in real world scenarios kinetic energy is often transferred into other forms like heat sound uh, or deformation energy due to non-ideal conditions such as friction examples perfect elastic collision to uh, ideal billiard balls collide on a frictionless surface kinetic energy before the collision equals kinetic energy after the collision and elastic collision two objects collide and strike together kinetic energy is not conserved because same of it is it is converted into other forms friction effect friction effects kinetic energy conservation by converting some of the kinetic energy into heat for example a sliding block on a rough surface loses kinetic energy due to frictional forces which are non-conservative uneven track If the track is not perfectly level, gravitational potential energy variations could affect the kinetic energy calculation. This is because the gravitational potential energy would change with the height variation along the track, potentially altering the kinetic energy of the objects, improving the experiment to better illustrate conservation of momentum and kinetic energy on cloud due to frictional less track to minimize energy loss due to the friction ensure of perfect elastic collision setup to demonstrate the kinetic energy in conservation more accurately use video analysis and precise measurement tools to track velocities and positions before and after collision reducing major error and summary while momentum is conserved in isolated system where no external forces act kinetic energy conservation depends on the nature of the collision and the presence of external forces like friction the experimental experiments Accuracy in illustrating these principles can be enhanced by minimizing external influences by implying and implying precise measurement techniques. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any question related to this video, please post a comment below. If you have any question in your mind, you can also post on the website and I will be answering you in the next video. Thank you for engaging with us. Until next video, bye bye.